It's a heavyweight showdown between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Frankie Edgar. All right, so here's the former UFC lightweight champion, Frankie Edgar, beat BJ Penn to win the belt back in 2010. Competed at featherweight for a while as well, but this was really a guy, DC, who popularized competing at the natural weight before it became all the rich. Yeah, he just didn't want to cut weight. He told me also that because his kid, Russell, he won't make his kid cut weight because he doesn't cut yeah. weight. Why should he make him do something he won't do? But he fought where he felt most comfortable. He was not draining himself. And by not draining yourself to get on the scale, Frankie was able to fight with a pace that a lot of those 155 pound guys could not match. Frankie's a phenomenal wrestler, wrestled at, the univer at Clarion University, coached at Rutgers University, but has developed striking under Mark Henry that is as good as anybody in the organization. And when you bury him, what does he do? He comes back and shows you a vintage performance. Got knocked out by Brian Ortega. Came back to dominate Cub Swanson just about six weeks later. Frankie Edgar back on the proving ground here tonight. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155-pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Habib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat a Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to <laughs> 10. Know. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 10 losses, and one draw. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey, USA, Frankie, the S.I. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nibagomeda! All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. Sometimes when you have a closely contested matchup on paper, grapple versus grapple, 
We see a striking affair, but all indications are these guys are going to try to clinch and try to do what got them in the match. They will try to clinch, right? They may try and strike, but ultimately, John, they are grapplers at their core. And at their core, they need to be in contact. The only issue is, normally, for both of these guys, when they're in these grappling exchanges, they never face anyone that says the first are as good in these positions as they are tonight. They get mirror images of themselves. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Big knee land. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. And they separate. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Frankie Edgar. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Nurmago Medov. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Edgar. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Slip and counter by it. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Big punch man over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just over two minutes to go. Edgar gets touched by that kick there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Single collar tie here. Big ball push man. Now we'll get back to range. Oh, big Superman punch there. Edgar's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Very nice leg kick there by Nurmago Medov. That shot is blocked by Edgar. Mago Medov gets touched by that leg kick attempt. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Mago Medov. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing the skill every single day. You gotta whip his hip into that kick. That punch is good. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, nice hook by Nurmago Medov. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. There you go. Stay tight. Stay tight. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Edgar going for the leg kick. He does not connect. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, he's going to shut your body off. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Gotta
protect that body more. You're letting it... A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big punch land. Ooh. Nice kick there by Edgar. Oh, and there's a sharp lead hook by Nermago Metal. And they clinch once again. Edgar's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nermago Metal going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. They continue to exchange. Nurmagomedov gets in the clinch yet again. Nice elbow. Nice sprawl there as he stuffs another takedown. So that was a big priority coming in, and the takedown defense has absolutely held up to him. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job of understanding the threat of the takedown. He's recognized it, he's defended it before it's even got started. Well, more often than not, when he is struck, he has landed 86 total strikes and now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And connecting with about a 41% accuracy rate here against Frank Yed. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Now a knee. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Under two minutes to go. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Try to establish that jab. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's it. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very oh, bad. Oh, he might be out. Lands a punch there. Good connection. Ball the master of the transition. Nice stab. Back to the feet. Big head kick lands. Under a minute to go here in our second round. Chucky in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Can't take many of those. You better check. So he's really starting to put together some significant... Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Every time these guys come together, man, you just 
hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Nice leg kick land. So there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish his Back and forth we go! Oh, big knee! Back to the feet! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Great diversity in his attack. Nice elbow to the punch. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes. And really, a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now and firing up a video to look at beauty in action. He was the one causing all the action. Well, how about that? Oh! Strikes. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Edgar's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Unbelievable! And that's going to do it. He's done. He's done. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. some replays now certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck this was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game and once he got to the top he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off just a dominant performance from the top position the official decision is in here is bruce buffer Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Khabib the Eagle, Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.